we know the story of uh, Herod killing all the children uh, of Bethlehem from two years old. Uh, with God's grace, we try to learn or meditate on three things from this gospel. The first one is how to overcome evil in the world. There is a lot of evil in the world. We know that. We uh, witness it every day. Here we see the angel telling Joseph to not to face Herod, but to flee to Egypt. This was not weakness from the Lord. He could send angels and they would have get rid of Herod. But he wanted to teach us the lesson of not facing evil with evil. And that's what the gospel teaches us. I'll say it in Arabic. I'm sure many of you know Arabic very well. Uh, and we'll translate it. لا تقاوم الشر اغلب الشر بالخير لا يغلبنك الشر بل اغلب الشر بالخير Do not overcome evil with evil but overcome evil with good with peace with love and that's not weakness it's not weakness لي النقمة أنا أجازي يقول الرب. It's for God to uh, reward, to punish. It's for God, for Him. And uh, this reminds me of uh, a practical thing that was said. That uh, when winds blows very, very strong, a branch of a tree or a tree, if it stand in front of the wind, surely it will get broken. But if the tree, the branches of the tree, bent down and let the wind go, the tree will stay there. And that's what happened. I know it's not easy, not for me, not for everyone. Usually, we like to respond, we like to reply. We usually react when something wrong happens or someone tells us something wrong. But the wisdom of God is don't react when you're angry from inside. Wait. Wait till the winds, the storm, settle down. And then you can respond with what God will give you to respond with. This is very practical, my uh, dear brother and sister, uh, that we don't overcome evil with evil, but overcome evil with good. Uh, and Someone would say, Me, this is weakness. It is not weakness. And actually, in the Proverbs, King Solomon Proverbs, he says something that's very true. He says, and I'll say it in Arabic, Malik nafsu a'zam khair min Malik Medina. The person who have control of himself is greater than a person who have reign over a whole kingdom or a whole city, but has no self-control. And we know that from many, many stories in history, in the Bible. And that's what happened. The angel told uh, Joseph to take the child and flee to Egypt. And that's why in the prophecy it was said, Mubarak Shabi Master, blessed is my people, Egypt. And surely Egypt is really blessed. 
with all the events that happens, we know that God spared Egypt and loved Egypt and is blessed. Egypt is blessed. That's the first lesson, how to overcome evil. The second lesson is also practical and very important, is to submit to God's will. Hayat al-Taslim, which is also not easy, but very important for us as believers, as Christians. See here the angel come to Joseph and say, go to Egypt. And Joseph and Mary, for sure, uh, obey and go to Egypt. It's hard. There was no transportation as today's transportation, as we know. It's a very long journey. And they know nothing in Egypt. But that's what God wants them to do. Go to Egypt. And then at the time, the angel appears again to Joseph and tells him, return to Jerusalem. Go to Galilee, where you are. And all the time, Joseph and Mary, and surely the baby Jesus, obeyed uh, God's commandments. And I ask myself, do I do that? If something from God and looks to me difficult or strange or whatever, do I obey God? And I remind myself that every time we pray and we, we say the Lord's Prayer, our Father, many, many times a day. And in every prayer we say, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We say it, but do we practice it? Are we doing our own will? Or are we submitting to God's will in every event in our life? And someone might say, how can I know God's will for me, for my life, for what I do? And it's not difficult. The Lord himself says, I say it in Arabic, اقتربوا إلي فأقترب إليكم يقول الرب Get closer to me and I will get closer to you, says the Lord. How can we get closer to God? To know his will in our life, in what we do. It's also easy. The word of God is there. Christ himself is on the altar. Prayer. Let's remember this thing. What St. John Chrysostom said, the three whatever you call foundation of our faith, of our relation with God is prayer. The word of God, the Bible, read it all the time, regularly, every day, in depth, and also the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ that is given to us to abide in him and him in us. This is how we can know the will of God in our life. When we are close to him, the Holy Spirit will speak to us, not with a loud voice, but internally, and will show us what God wants, wants from us. So we see here submission to God's will. It was not easy, but when we submit to God's will, we're always the winner. We'll do God's will in our life. The third point that also puzzled, puzzled me, I'm sure puzzled others, how God can permit that these innocent children, two years old and babies, to be killed and we see this as really an atrocity, a murdering thing, a, a, a very bad thing. For sure it is. And we don't have to go f further or far away. This is the status of the world we live in. This is what happened in the world. 
but it reminds me of what Christ told his disciples and telling us in John 16. He says, I have spoken this to you, that in me you will have peace, will have peace in Christ. In the world you will have tribulations. That's what we expect from the world, tribulations. But he didn't stop here. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. في العالم سيكون لكم ضيق لكن ثقوا ثقوا trust have faith I have overcome the world so that's what made Saint Paul would also say يعظم انتصارنا في المسيح الذي أحبنا greater is our victory in Christ who have loved us and also said ونحن Let's look في موكب نصرة الله. It's, it's victory. At the end, it'll be victory. Yes, we don't see it as a victory now. And maybe our recompense might not be in this world. But we have faith and trust that God has overcome the world. And the final victory will always be in him, through him, and with him. So let us remember these three practical things from today's gospel. The first, let overcome uh, evil with good. Let be peaceful people. Say blessed, that's a blessing that Christ gave in the Sermon on the Mountain. Bless are the peacemakers. Tuba lisani a salam, and nom yudauna awled Allah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Let's be men of peace. And usually, those who are not Christian see this and wonder many times or all the time how. You don't react violently to what is happening to you. We know that we have a God who who he is the one who will stand with us. And that's what Moses tell, told his people when they were crossing the Red Sea and, and see that the army are behind them. He told them, Antum tasmutun warrab yudafa ankum. God will fight for you. You have victory in God. So overcome evil with good, not by weakness, but in, instead is all of strengths. What we said that the person who has self control is greater than the person who has. Uh, reign or control over a whole city. That's the first thing. Second thing is to submit to God's will. We say it, but we have to practice it. God gave us all free will. And that's why Abuna in the prayers would say, أُقَدِّمُ لَكْ مَشُورَةْ حُرِّيَّتِي وَأَكْتُبُ أَعْمَالِي تَبْعًا لَأَقْوَالَكْ I offer to you the free will that you gave me, and I will follow your commandments. So to submit to God's will, accept from him, knowing this is the best for us. The third thing is our God has always the final victory. I have overcome the world. And glory be to God forever. Amen.